Alright, welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Tried Tribulations. Last time, we got on to the matter of what Larry's saw. Or something like that. Anyway, let's continue. I hardly... Oh. I don't know if I read that or not, so... I thought you, I I guess thought you did. I don't know. I don't know. Well... You're not getting it if I didn't read it. <laughs> nope. Yeah, not much of a problem at all. Really? The bridge is burning before your eyes and there's a phone right next to it. Why, then, do you not report the accident? Do you simply just watch the bridge burn? That is the problem here. Even if the bridge burnt out, he was still there. He simply stood there and didn't report anything. That's what it sounds like. This might be a lair we're talking about, but even he is inca incapable of being so stupid. There has to be a reason for his inaction. Edgy... I think it's about time I got serious with you, dude. As I thought, you've been playing with us this, this whole time. It's been a ruse all along. It's been a ruse. Listen, I'm... I'm gonna tell you everything. Are you sure you want to hear it all? Yes. I may really say it this time. Everything. Yeah. Then say it. Just get on with it. Very well. I have a terribly bad feeling about this. However, let's have the witness finally give us the whole truth. Now, for this 15 minute gap, what were you doing, witness? The missing 15 minutes. I I'm a dotem. I'm an artist. What do you think I was doing? Sketching in front of the bridge. I whipped up into a frenzy of art. The shock and awe I was feeling, I treasured it all directly under the page. Before I realized it, the flames had gone out and he came running up. Hmm. I suppose artists can be a strained folk. That's right. I'm willing to sacrifice everything in order to draw the perfect sketch. <laughs> Including the truth from the sound of it. Mr. Edgeworth, this this is a move to last year doubts. Not all, Your Honor. And a very large doubt still remains. And what would that be? This is a surprising, surprisingly believable story, especially considering the source. So why do you think the need to hide it from us until now? I tend to drag the reason out and out of him. Ha ha ha. You'll regret this, Edgy. Yeah, probably. Probably will. Because it's Larry. Anyway. Okay. Press the second one. The second one. Where did you sketch? S sketching the burning bridge. The burning bridge and everything that came with it. What? Came with it? You want to hear this from my lips, do you, Edgy? You're, you'll regret this. That sketch of mine is... Gah! Enough. Just take that ridiculous sketch of yours out already, witness. What, what, what are you talking about? I know what you mean. This doesn't need appear to be the fastest solution. I'll leave it to you, Mr. Edgeworth. What should I do? I've got a terrible feeling the instant this sketch is revealed. The entire world may be changed by what is depicted there. Let's look at it. We have to. No choice. Larry, whenever you could show us your sketch, please. Well, well. You and I couldn't imagine it turn out like this. Imagined what? That Lord's Dotem's if you would take place here, today, like this. Ow, ouch! Show it! Now! Okay. But still yourselves. This... This is the world of L Lori's Dotem. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. What? Well... <laughs> I'm out of here. Yep. See you later. Ah. Um, well... So this... This is Dusky Bridge, correct? Qu quite a large bridge, isn't it? Your response, Miss Von Karma? Yes, well... 
It's a better drawing than I expected. <laughs> well, yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it? I showed it to reproduce those flames. I really did. Yes, I'm sure you did. Uh, this is gonna get ugly. No one has the bravery to bring it up, it seems. This mysterious flying object. Larry. What? The burning bridge is fine. But what is that unfortunate looking figure? Ah, you spotted that? I thought you might. However much I want to ignore it, I can't. It's Iris, of course. Iris! Um... Right! Okay. okay. I wish she'd take better care of herself. We have to plan our future, you know? What would happen to her if she had injured herself flying like that? <laughs> Larry, please. Enter this next question, honestly. Okay. Are you really claiming to have seen this? Yeah. Sorry, I, I keep moving my foot and it's making my ankle hurt and I don't know why. Uh, like, I'm trying to stretch out my leg and it's making my ankle hurt. Don't know. I don't know. Just go on. <laughs> yes. Um. <clears throat> I couldn't have seen the silhouette of the defendant flying over a bridge that was engulfed in flames. Yep, that's what I saw. That's why I drew it. I'm an artist. A real artist. Or... <laughs> 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 Is, is he high? He could be. Possibly. <clears throat> the girl, she's really high up in this picture. <laughs> what was that for? This is all a bad dream. I was hitting you on the cheek to test that theory. Please whip your own cheek from now on. You to touch your wild theories. Anyway, oh. no court of law will ever acknowledge that p p people can fly. Actually, there is some precedence for this. Precedence Airplanes. for this. No, um. And she's the, thinking uh, of uh, the Justice for All case with the yeah the very the... circus. Yeah, that one. Yep. Uh, yep. What's his name? I forget. Max Galactica. That guy. Yeah. Yep. She's flying pretty high, my sweet Iris. She was about 30 feet above the bridge, at least. It was really something to see. But this has to be some kind of mistake. Ms. Redress, please bring the witness back down to Earth. What? Me? <laughs> this is your friend, is he not? Accessory to foolishness, Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> Let's get back to the cross examination. By force, if necessary. Mr. Edgeworth, it's supposed to expose the obvious contradiction here. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. So I've got another reason to remember this moron. Well, what do you think of my debut piece? Get that thing away from me! <laughs> 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 anyway, <laughs> we got that. Now, hurry up and cross the him. him. <laughs> okay. I want to take a look at that real quick. Just... A horrible sketch of what he saw in the other crowd. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, this. Yeah, no, because we have it. Yes. Objection! Larry, what did you really see that night? Not that I particularly care. In your position, that's just being irresponsible. I I do exactly what I saw. I'll give you a whole dollar that it's the truth. <laughs> a dollar? That's that's a lot of confidence. If that wow, is truly the case, and there's one thing we can say for certain. What might that be? That the person who flew over the bridge could not have been the defendant Iris. What? What, what do you mean? I don't understand. Ah. A foolhardy fo folly of a foolish statement by an equally foolishly foolhardy fool. How exactly can you make this claim? 
Tell us, Larry. According to this picture, the individual you, the individual you say he was wearing a hood, correct? Of course he was. That rundown shack is quite a way, quite a way away from the bridge. That is what told me with this floating angel is my iris. That the hood is my, the hood is my darling iris, and iris is my darling hood. Wah! It seems there are bigger fools in this world than the one at the defense's bench. <laughs> I was Larry. like, you haven't even seen the half of it. Like, yeah, you don't even this know. This is just a daily routine for him. Day in the life. Larry, there's something you need to be away to wear of. Night of the murder. I was just wearing her hood. He'd given it to Ray as a gift. Are you going to change your story now? Perhaps she was right who took flight. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you talking about? I think you understand what I mean just fine. Why? Why Nick have Iris' hood? Eh? Edgy! What's going on with Iris and Nick? Why you, Nick? You dog! Uh... Okay. Okay. Alright. What more can he say, really? <clears throat> I do believe that this unbelievably mysterious sketch it doesn't disappear. Discredited and discarded. Straight into the garbage. Ha! Ha 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 What is it now, Witness? It feels like I've been waiting 25 years for this very day to come. Edgy! The days that I get completely stupefy you. What? <laughs> what is the meaning route for his Witness? Hate to have to do this, but I have some definitive evidence. It's definitive? Evidence? I was didn't did indeed coming flying over the burning bridge. And I, Lord Dodum, so I'll prove it. Uh Okay. I didn't expect to ask this again, but you should be needing your testimony once again. Tells anything you know concerning the fin depicted in this sketch. It shows your evidence that this nightmare is actually a reality. Okay, hope you're ready, Edgy. Cause I'm gonna feed you a whole whopping serving of pain. You've been serving the whopping serving of pain this whole time. Trust me. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Proof that Iris flew. When I reached Jessica Bridge, she was already gone. I was so worried, I frantically searched all over for her. That led me to finding a beautiful crystal spear, half buried in the snow. What? I'm sure that I was simply wearing a spare hood. After all, no one else could have lost a crystal spear that night. Uh. Uh. S uh hmm. The spear? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think he knows that that wasn't I don't think Iris's. <laughs> you think he would know, considering, yeah. but I guess not. <clears throat> He's also uh, an idiot. That's, yeah, that one. That's true. A, a crystal spear. This one, pretty, isn't it? But finders keepers. That spear, where did you find it? Let me see. Around here, somewhere. Looks about right. Oh. And it was half buried in the snow. It pretty much stopped snowing by then. But there's still some fall some falling as I walk to the bridge. Hmm. Where's up this crystal spear? That's fine, okay. I want a bag afterward. There's something on it, isn't there? Oh my, it's a blood stain! What's a blood stain? That that obviously red sticking out on that purple sphere. That's blood. Whoa. Crazy. You ready, Edgy? Find the bar morning and be calling me Master Larry. Yeah, what? I like the sound of that. No one's gonna get to push me around anymore. What? Didn't you want to be called Larry Stodum just a few minutes ago? Okay. Alright. 
Okay. That should work. That should work. Yeah. That night, there was someone. Someone who lost his crystal spear. Th there was? Who? Who was this stupid idiot? Oh my god. <laughs> Miss Elise Dotum, a mentor to a stupid idiot. A victim? A photo of her here. And on the end of her staff, you can see a familiar looking crystal spear. <laughs> hey! That's my photograph! Give it back! Uh, ouch! A crystal sphere like that is quite easy to find. Uh... Uh... I have one just like it on my brooch. That's... That, that's... It, that's uh, nice, but, um... I mean, it's not a cir It's not a spear, yeah. and it's not purple, and... It looked nothing alike! <laughs> In any case, please have to take a look at this. Stop being weird! <laughs> this is the victim's staff. Found at the scene of the crime. <laughs> ah! The crystal spear! It's gone! What? 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 Just, 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 what does this mean? If anyone jumped or flew across the bridge that night, so it was not Iris, after all. She's not wearing her hood. More importantly, Crystal Sphere found that landing site was not her ease, was not hers either. The that means the one who flew and dropped the spear was the victim, Miss Elise Dodum. A fool alongside another fool on a fool's errand to reach a foolish conclusion. First of all, this sketch, which I prefer to call a scribble, is ridiculous. <laughs> People cannot fly, thus it is rejected. You, you can't do that! I saw it! My own two eyes! And this crystal sphere. This is nothing more than a red herring. You honestly believe that? Give it some thought and I'm sure you'll realize it as well, Miles Edgeworth. Elise Dotum was in her room on the night of the murder. There was no reason for her to go to Dusky Bridge. Therefore, this sphere cannot be related to this case. That is all. Miss Francisca von Karma. The only people who accept that explanation are scatterbrains and clowns. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why are you pointing at me? The victim's crystal spear was found near the bridge on the night of her murder. They you expect to believe it has nothing to do with this case? That crystal sphere. It was probably thrown away at the bridge after the murder. After the murder? Hmm. Really right now? I, there is yeah. blood on the crystal sphere, isn't there? This naturally suggests that it was thrown away after the murder took place. The killer placed it there to throw the investigation off the scent. The same reason uh, that he threw that ridiculous sketch. Um. Threw. Sorry. Hmm. Threw. <laughs> what? You mean. I'm the killer! No way! <laughs> <laughs> Enough joking! When did this. When did this crystal sphere appear near the foot of the bridge? 
Unless this can be proven some way, I refuse to believe this is related to the case. Hmm. Makes a valid point. There's no evidence that at least Dodum left Hazard's Karate Temple that night. However, some of this crystal spear can be proven to have been dropped before the victim was killed. This case is going to be transformed into something else entirely. Response, Mr. Edgeworth. Want well, your final opinion on the deposition of the crystal spear? It's not related to the case. This witness who you've called will have been nothing more than a monumental waste of time. Shit. Prepare yourself for some very appropriate punishment, Miles Edgeworth. Can I prove it? Can I prove the crystal spear was dropped before the murder took place? Can we prove that? I have no idea. But we'll find out next time. So, see you then. <laughs>